is a beautiful 1969 Chevelle Super Sport, done in the Fathom Green. It's riding on a brand new set of 8-inch uh, Corvette rallies with brand new BFG raised white letter tires all the way around. This restoration was done three years ago. We just did the tires here just now, so they're brand new. Other than that, the rest of the restoration was done in the last three years. It was a full frame off restoration. The frame was painted, blasted, painted, undercarriage looks really nice on it as well. Front suspension stuff's all new on it. Um, just a really nice turnkey Chevelle. The previous owner did state that it was a true super sport when he did the frame off restoration. I do not have documentation of the build sheet proving a super sport, and it's not a numbers matching engine. It's a 454 in there, dressed up to look like a 396. The motor's all been rebuilt, runs excellent. Transmission shifts great. It does have a 12 bolt in it as well. And a very well optioned car. It's got power disc brakes. It's got the rear traction bars, 12 bolt, cold air conditioning, power steering, and power windows. So it's a very well optioned super sport car. It could be a clone or it could be a real deal. There's no way of uh, truly telling. As we look at the engine compartment, as I mentioned, the air does blow cold. We put some refrigerant in there and charged it up. It's got a four barrel, 454, new power booster. It's a really nice engine compartment. You can tell the quality of the paint job and stuff. The paint job was done absolutely beautiful, even on the inner fenders, the bottom of the hood, the inside of the trunk was all done, very professionally painted body color. Got the factory squirters and the washer reservoir, everything's hooked up. Just a really nice 69 Chevette. Top of the hood lines up beautifully on the top of the fenders. Body lines look really good as we come all the way across the front of the nose here. It looks nice as well. It's a nice even gap from front to back. As we come here to the bumpers, it's one thing I, I probably could have did. Um, the Restore chose to leave the original bumpers on there. They're very presentable, especially the front one, but the back bumper is showing some wear a little bit. It's got a couple little spots where it's starting to surface rust a little where the chrome's just peeling. Other than that, the rest of the trim and stuff, it looks like it's been replaced. The grill is in excellent shape. The trim around the headlights and stuff all looks real good for original. I'd say the grill definitely been replaced, and so is the trim on the nose, because that's excellent. Wheel well trim is in great shape. Emblems look new. Marker lights on the corners of the car look new. This is a super straight car, and this dark color shows everything. So, very nice paint job done three years ago, and it still looks great today. This car could go to any of your, old, your local car shows and win home a trophy, that's for sure. The metallic paint looks fantastic as we come across the Super Sport hood. I don't see any paint imperfections on that hood anywhere. The windshield looks like that's in great shape as well. It's got the correct wipers, and they function, got nice blades on them. The vinyl top looks like that was restored as well during the restoration. No soft spots, no bubbles or blisters or wrinkles, anything like that. We do have some scratches at the top of this back window, some light scratches there. As we look up and down the side, go though, that door fits absolutely perfect on the bottom. I mean, it doesn't stick out at all. So, lower quarters, body super straight. It's a really nice car. Back bumper looks good at 10 foot. You get up close around the license plate light or the license plate bracket, you can see some surface rust. It's got a beautiful Magnaflow dual exhaust on it. Sounds awesome. As I mentioned before, all the marker lights look like they've been replaced. Wheel well trim looks new. Quarter panels look excellent all over the wheel well. Nothing for imperfections in front of the wheel either. No blisters, no nothing. Rocker panel doors look excellent. As I mentioned, this passenger door, in my opinion, could not fit any better. I mean, it's got an excellent gap. New handles on it. Shuts beautifully. All new window felts, rubbers, door rubbers, roof rail rubbers, all new. These are all new. Power windows all work great. Look at these corners of this door. I mean, the door is absolutely immaculate. Never had any work done there. It's got all the new stops on it as well. 
Uh, door panels have all been replaced. All the power window switches and stuff are all brand new. Uh, door handles look new. Armrest looks new. Dash pad's new. Dash has all been painted beautifully black. The steering wheel looks brand new as well. Seat covers and stuff are all new, and they put all new padding on them, new boasters. And when they did the boasters with all this new padding, the, the boasters got just a little wrinkly on both sides. So it's just a little tight. They sit good, and they feel good with all the new padding. It's just when you put the new padding in there, they got a few wrinkles around the outside edges. Carpet is new. It's got the correct seat belts. Back to GM seat belts. All new scuff plates. You can see the paint job done on this jam. The paint job is done absolutely beautiful. All the doors and fenders are all painted off the car. Carpet's new. It's got the Chevy floor mats. Headliner's new. The visors are original, so a little bit of stitching along the outside edges. It's not really coming loose to say, but, but they're not new. Um, dome light works on it. It's got the original overhead seat belts. It does have Pioneer 6x9s in the back with a new back shelf. Seat belts for two in the back. Door panels on the front and the back are all new. This is a really quality Chevelle, guys. Door shut great, body super straight, trunk is excellent. Exhaust sounds beautiful on it. All this trim back here looks like that's all been replaced. All the trim on the back by the trunk lid and the tail light trim. The Chevy emblems are new. Driver side is just as straight as the passenger side. I don't see a ripple anywhere in it. No bubbles or blisters, nothing like that. Um, on the rear quarter, nothing over the wheel well. In front of the wheel well, looks excellent. Lower rocker. Driver side door fits just as nice as the passenger side, guys. Absolutely fits completely flush right here. Rocker lower fender. I don't see any paint chips or nothing like that. I might have missed one. It's hard to pick anything out, but all in all, I don't see any paint chips around the car at all. Just a great fit everywhere. New mirrors, new handles. Somebody's gonna really like this car. I wanna point out one more thing. It had those new eight inch rallies on it and the tire setup on this, I think that we did two 55s on the back and two 35s on the front, 60 series. And in my opinion, this Chevelle just sits absolutely perfect. Nice and level, kind of low. This has a good appeal to it. When I got out here, all the power windows worked the last couple days. When I got out here, this one here is clicking the resistor in the back passenger or back driver side. So I've got to get that adjusted when I get back. It's just, uh, I think the resistor is just clicking off on it. Corner of the door here on the uh, driver side, just like the passenger, it looks like a brand new door. The paint still looks wet everywhere you look at it on the jams. So the door jam paint is just as nice as the rest of the car. The Chevelle, in my opinion, is about as nice as they come. If you look at the door jams and stuff here, all the new rubbers on the restoration here. This car's a great car, guys, for the money. Door panel's new, armrest is new, bases are new. <laughs> SS steering wheel looks like that's brand new. Trim around those seats are new. Covers are new, strikers are brand new, it looks like, are repainted very nicely. Just a great attention to detail on the restoration of this car. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the AC on. It's a little warm today. Engine kicks right down, compressor comes on. Our temperature's running about 185. It's been sitting here running for quite a while. It's about 85 degrees today. Oil pressure's at uh, 40, 41. Horn works, wipers work. Gas gauge works. Other than that, we have the factory gauges, uh, our lights, but they got the aftermarket down here. It does have an AM FM Chevy uh, tape player, and it does set up for a CD player as well. So it's got a really nice 
stereo to it, nice speakers. Rear view mirror is good, but there's a little blackening. It's original around the outside edges, so if a guy wanted to change that, you might want to. Visors, like I said, are original, but they're good. Um, that's really about it. Everything works on it. The odometer shows 56,573 miles. I'm guessing it's probably went over, but it's hard to say. Dash pad's great, carpet's great. Council's really nice in it, but there is some little, uh, if you want to make that perfect like the rest of the car, you probably want to replace this chrome up here. You got some little micro scratches in that chrome. If you open up the council door, the, the uh, inner tray and stuff's all in there. Power windows and air conditioning in this car just makes it a really nice car. It's not the factory 396 motor, but uh, still has some good horsepower and the kick down on the tranny and stuff works on it as well. Idles down really nice too. I don't know if you could hear that though, but I couldn't even hear the car running right there when it was at a, at a stop at an idle. So it really idles nice and smooth. this car uh, the other day put about 10-15 miles on it and I was just super impressed the front suspension on this thing is super tight the steering's tight I mean one finger on the wheel you barely have to touch it and it just goes wherever you want it to um, does not need an alignment the brakes are excellent we got disc on the front the exhaust sounds fantastic shocks are excellent I mean there's not a a bump or a, a sway in this thing. This thing really rides nice. Speedometer works good. We're just going to cruise down here, 50 mile an hour. Transmission kicks right in. Nice solid shift on the tranny. And this thing just flies right down the road. Very effortless too. I mean, it drives. It really drives like a new car. With that suspension as high as it is, and the nice kick down, and the good shocks. I mean, it's one of the best driving Chevelles that I've drove. Very quiet. Very nice. Really, in my opinion, cold air conditioning, no disappointments in this 1969 Chevelle.